There are some Dinar Guru updates starting off with Bruce via Wiser. Now, the World Court lawsuit, the second one that was submitted, we knew some of the people that were involved in that. The decision of the World Court came down and it was favorable for us to get this party started. We thought, why aren't we there? Why didn't we get notified yesterday? I was really expecting it. What happened? Well, we found out what happened and it's really for our betterment. And it's this. President Trump worked directly with the World Court to modify this timeline, but only slightly. They did not want to have us go for two days and all of a sudden stop Sunday and Monday, which is a bank holiday, and have all the problems that would create by having stopped and then restart again on Tuesday. Uh, so the decision was made. We can be ready to get notified with our emails and 800 toll-free numbers on Monday which is a bank holiday, but guess what? The redemption centers are open. The staff will be there. Iraq did pass their budget like it's only been done forever. Quote, unquote, passed their 2021 budget yesterday. I'm not sure, but I believe it was put in the Gazette yesterday. The top treasury source said if, if Iraq implements their budget on Saturday, which we fully hope and expect them to do, then we in the internet group in four tier 4A will be notified Monday afternoon to set appointments for Tuesday, which is the 6th of April. I am pretty excited about where this stands and we're going and the information is just lining up beautifully. All right, Mark Z, article quote, the US dollars to the Iraqi dinar IQD exchange rates was up on the Kurdistan regions Currency markets on Thursday, April 1, quote, $100 was at 146,750 Iraqi dinars, 950 IQD higher than the previous day. We have seen a value change of the dinar, which has been pegged for a very long time. It changed by 950 IQD based on $100 US dollars. The article shows the change, and to me, it means the IQD is unpegged from the US dollar. IQD floating. All right. Pimpy says, I do think it's uh, the dinar is going to rebound if they can keep stable with no issues and do away with as much corruption as possible like they've been doing and they start doing these private sector buildups. Yeah, you're going to see the currency rebound. I think it's going to happen quickly. Sure, it might not happen overnight, but in my opinion, it's going to happen quickly enough. All right, Caperoni uh, says yesterday, direct from the finance minister when referring to the exchange rate, stated this, quote, the current price of the Iraqi currency against the U.S. dollar after its devaluation will continue for a long time and a full float may occur in the future, but the central bank will now work to maintain the current exchange rate level for as long as possible. I think that's pretty clear. And as I stated before, a float is how monetary policy works. Only with the success of Iraq's economy can the Iraqi dinar go up in value. With the recent passing of the 2021 budget, we will have to hope this is the beginning of a prosperous Iraq. All right, Adam Montana, this anticipation is kind of getting to me. Article quote, the House of Representatives voted today on some general budget law for 2021. Uh, Unquote, we are ridiculously close to seeing some HCL info. WTI is currently in the $61 range. The budget was formulated at much less than that. This is good. HCL is on the way. Go RV.